Welcome to the live. Can you hear me? Let me get a mic check in the chat. Let me know if you can hear me. It looks like I'm having some slight issues here. But everything should be sorted out in a second. Just stand by. There we go. We are live. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoy this live stream today. On today's stream, this is part of the Crew Life Alive series that I'm doing where I interview GTA crews of various kinds. Today, we will have a GTA crime family. This family is called the Abruzzos. The Abruzzos are some guys uh, that have been active in the community for a while. And we're going to get to learn more about them today. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, they are, as usual, getting ready in a private session. Uh, and I will be joining them shortly. In the meantime, I'm going to go check out Los Santos, see what's going on as those guys uh, get squared away. And then we'll hop right into the interview with these guys. Um, keep in mind, if you have any questions for the Abruzzo family as we're streaming today, feel free to drop them in the chat. Don't feel bad if I don't get to them right away because I will be trying to focus on the people who are in the session with me, trying to listen to them and you know make sure that I'm giving them you know, the proper amount of attention to what they have to say. And uh, this is as fun for me, I hope, as it is for you guys because uh, I really look forward to learning more about this family, how they operate within the GTA crime family community. If you're not familiar with the GTA crime family community, it actually started way, way, way back before GTA Online was even released. Uh, there were people who were playing as crime families on the old GTA 4 game, which had a multiplayer. Some of you may remember there was a uh, like a TDM um, function where you could go and TDM with other uh, crews and that kind of thing. And that's really where the GTA crime family community started. Um, and it has been kind of going ever since to varying degrees. I would certainly say it's had its ups and downs. That's a fact. Um, I think that for what felt like, you know, like a couple of years almost, the crime family community really slowed to the point where it was almost non-existent. This guy crashed his jet. Um, it, had, it had almost died out completely, but thanks to a few families who remained active, it kept going strong. And uh, today it is seeming to have a little bit of a resurgence. And that's why I really wanted to have crime families on this particular live stream, just to feature the families who are getting active and helping that charge into the future uh, to help keep that community rolling. And I'm trying to focus on families who conduct themselves in a respectful fashion. Um, you know, I don't know a whole lot about the crime family community. I can tell you I personally have been engaging with crime families on GTA since PS3. Um, that's where I first started playing GTA Online was on PS3. And I was a member of a biker club. And biker clubs and crime families share a lot of similarities. They have similar combat standards. You're not allowed to just run around in bulletproof helmets, uh, blowing everybody up. You're supposed to use assault rifles, as you see me trying to do here but looking like an absolute noob. I can't seem to get a headshot on this friggin' guy. There it is. Um, <laughs> so they have these uh, strict combat standards, and uh, they you know, really try to play the game according to a code of honor. And uh, at least that's the way it was back on PS3. So in the GTA MC community, we have a, what we call the 1% rules, where you have to stick to an assault rifle, Pump shotguns, pistols, melee weapons, that kind of thing. Basically, light weapons only. Well, the Mafia community had similar rules, and we both occupied the free aim space. So it made a lot of sense that, you know, there would be, whoa, similarities and overlap within the communities. Um, and that has continued to this day. Uh, I can tell you, though, that like the MC community, Mafias have really... Good, good shooting, kid. Good shooting. Mystic Joel, nice shooting. Mafia communities have really been going through some challenges. Hey, Agent Zuby, Kid Mega, Kit, what's going on? Nice to see you guys in the chat. Yeah, they've really been going through some challenges in terms of, 
you know, the players that are in the community and actually sticking to uh, the rules that were established in the community that made the community special, that made it unique. Uh, and made it honorable. Uh, there's clearly, you know, obviously in the MC community, if you guys play over there, you know, um, that has really been overrun with cheaters, people using programs and auto aim glitches and everything else. And sadly, that is also the case in crime family community. I fight with a lot of crime families, and some of them in particular are just some of the most cancerous players you'll see in all of online gaming. Um, some of the families I know that, you know, were not happy to, you know, see the particular families that I'm choosing to feature on this series are known cheaters, booters, doxers, using auto-aim, all that extra sweaty stuff. And I really do not want to promote that on the stream. Um, I don't think, you know, crews like that, that really are just a cancer within the gaming community, should you know get any additional you know attention it's kind of what they crave and they do all kinds of horrible stuff to try to get it um so i'm personally not interested in talking with them getting to know about them or having them featured on my channel um i'm really trying to focus on people who you know are trying to get the community back to its glory days wow that's lovely <laughs> where is that guy sip snippy snip Okay, let's go find him. Green Dot sending me hateful messages. And it looks like he is probably going to be, okay, down here. I'm going to have to go hunt him down. Let's go get some kills on this guy or maybe get killed by him. We shall see. Uh, but, yeah, so, you know, I, 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 like, to, uh, I like to hype up uh, these live streams and really try to focus on some positivity. You know, I don't have to do these streams. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't have to focus on other people's crews or try to give other people positive attention or anything like that. I do it because I love GTA. I love free aim. I like the communities that are out there. I personally want to learn more about them. Um, and, you know, I think, it's a, I think it's a good thing for gaming in general to kind of reach out to different communities. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm really trying to you know, make this a positive thing for the crews that participate. Give them a chance to... Oh, wait, I, I killed the wrong guy. Uh, give them a chance to, you know, sort of uh, talk about their crew and um, feel proud that anybody even cares a little bit about what they do. Um, you know, that's really my, uh, my goal with this. And it's really unfortunate, you know, based on some of the announcements that I've put out, some of the feedback that you get, you really see people, you know, kind of just acting really gross really gross, um, very disrespectful, and uh, not really kind of upholding, I think, what everybody, you know, hoped the Mafia community would be, and that's a community based on mutual respect for other players and that kind of thing, you know, kind of conducting yourself like a man, conducting yourself in an honorable fashion. Um, you know, that's very much, if you kind of, you know, follow any of the La Cosa Nostra uh, movies and uh, other information, books and television programs and so forth that are out there about uh, the crime families in America. You know, respect is everything, right? Respect is, is key. And uh, even if you, you know, dislike somebody, you're really supposed to keep that to yourself. Um, and that's just not the way the online gaming community is, unfortunately. There's really some very gross kind of cancerous people um, that operate within the community. It's really unfortunate, but it is what it is. So what do you do about that as a community? How do you deal with cancerous people? Uh, in my opinion, the best way to deal with them is to completely ignore them. Um, don't give them the attention that they crave. This is the guy that sent that message to me, so we're not going to show him any mercy. Um, oh, we got a mugger. This guy thinks he's slick. He ain't slick. SMC Scorpion sent a mugger after me. I don't know who SMC Scorpion is, but we're going to go in on this dude for a minute, and when Scorpion wants to come out of his little hiding place, we can go in on him too, maybe. We'll see how it goes. But for now, I'm just going to be content to rack up some AFK kills on this fool until he comes back, since he wants to send cancerous messages to me. You know, that's how it goes. That's this guy right here, in case you're not clear. You can see in my messages, that's the guy that I'm shooting right now. Although he just seems content to stay AFK and say, send hateful messages to people. Not a big surprise, I guess. 
<laughs> but anyway, uh, so today, like I say, we'll be focused on the Abruzzo family. I had the opportunity to go and take some photos with them the other day, and they were really great. Um, I was really interested um, in sort of how they built their family, the purpose of the family, some of the backstory behind it, that kind of thing. Um, but like I say, they were just all really, you know, I was impressed with them. They conducted themselves in a very respectful fashion. Um, so I'm really looking forward to get to know them more today. I was very impressed with them, my first interaction with them. So now I'm really looking forward to, oh man. Oh man. Wait, is this guy in Strikers? He is. Oh, he. This guy sent a mugger after me. Yeah, kid, don't blame me. Super lucky in life. So uh, I would hope that people will be able to keep the chat respectful today. Uh, the last stream we had, we didn't get a whole lot of that. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, respect shown in the chat for anybody. And that's pretty gross. That's you know really not what we do on this channel. But uh, again, it's the internet. You can't stop people from being disgusting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just all part of internet life, if you will. It's unfortunate, but that's what it is. Um, so again, I wouldn't. I would hope that you guys keep it pretty chill in the chat. Uh, we do have great moderators. We have Firefox Kit in the chat today and Kid Mega, both. So just know. You know, if you're, if there's something you, who, how did this kid get me? Um, if there's something you, you know, want to get off your chest, I'm not saying, again, that you have to, like, kiss anybody's ass or anything like that. Um, but just, you know, try to keep it somewhat respectful. And you'll get a warning, you know, if you start to get out of order in the chat. I'm sure one of the moderators will let you know that your comments are not appreciated. If you persist and continue on acting in a way that is, you know, not conducive to us having a good, mature, decent conversation, well, then you'll be removed from the chat. Um, so I don't want to see that happen to anybody, but, you know, that's really up to you guys. All right, so try to keep it chill. And meanwhile, I'm just going to continue shooting these guys till I get my invite from the Abruzzos. And once I get the Abruzzos invite, I will hop in there with them and uh, we'll learn some more about that family. I believe they have a lobby all set up and everything ready to go. So it shouldn't be long now. Oh, no. How did I miss? What the? F Yo, come on. This guy. I'm sick of these cops. Just going to let this guy know. I don't like him. <laughs> oh, Scorpion. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I didn't realize it. I was like, wait a minute. SMC, isn't that? It didn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, but oh, there's no uh, no hard feeling, Scorpion. No hard feeling, dude. I was like, who the fuck is, who is shooting at me? Who's sending muggers after me? Because I wanted to kill this guy, because this guy's gross, in case you don't know. Like, this guy's, this guy's a trash can. So I wanted to go shoot at him. So when I had a mugger come after me, I thought maybe you were rocking with him or something. But, yeah, no hard feeling, Scorpion. Nothing like a little tomfoolery. <laughs> Hello, fellow kids. What's up, Cree? What's up, Kit? Alec Ryan. Nice to see you guys in the chat. We got Nexos in the chat from one of the uh, other crime families that's in the community. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoy the stream. I hope you find it interesting. Where is this fool? Where is this fool? Oh, he's on the other side. I gotta get over there before he can get up and shoot me on the other side. Whoa, watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm going around. Damn, Scorpion's too quick with those kills. I really thought I was going to be able to get some really nice headshot porn for you guys out here before the uh, stream really gets going. This guy's trying to snipe me. We ain't having that. Oh, what the? F oh, what the? F ah, he left. He left. Good work. Good work, Scorpion. That's how we do it. Taking out the trash with Scorpion out here. That's what we're doing out here. Cleaning up these cleaning up these streets in Los Santos. <laughs> uh, that's funny. What's up, Red Lito? What's going on, guys? Hope everybody's having a great night. I uh, I personally was out on the bike today. Up here in New England, uh, it is the fall season, which is just breathtaking. If you don't believe me, you can go check out my stories on Instagram. I posted a little clip from my ride today, and uh, oh my goodness, the leaves are all changing. The leaves are red and orange and yellow. 
It's not quite peak yet. We got about another week or two before we really truly hit peak when all of the leaves have changed and um, the forests really start to look like they're on fire. We're kind of on the front end of that right now. But hey, it was like it was like 75 degrees up here today. Beautiful sunshine. I'm talking just gorgeous. Just literally a perfect day, an absolutely perfect day and the best possible day for a ride. Clear skies, warm sunshine, just Oh, I, I can't say enough about it. I'm so thankful to even be alive on days like this. Um, so, yeah, it was wonderful. Let me go and get the bike back to the garage. And once I do, I will check my invites. And if I have invites from the Abruzzos, I will go ahead and grab that. And we'll get this interview started. In the meantime, as I'm riding over here, um, do you guys have any questions? Are there any specific questions from people in the chat? that you would like me to ask the Abruzzos once I get into uh, the session with them. Please let me know. Drop your questions in the chat right now. And uh, as I'm headed over here, I will try to remember them. I see I have more messages coming in. Let's see, Patrick, he said, I gave you mercy, you must die now. <laughs> oh, that's funny, that's funny, that's funny. Well, we smashed that 16 MC guy, that felt good. Mission accomplished there. Work on what bike you ride, IRL. Uh, I ride a Harley Davidson Softail Slim. I absolutely love it. It's an amazing bike. I've ridden every kind of Harley you can imagine. And uh, it is by far my favorite. By far my favorite. Uh, the NBA Finals. I am a Celtics guy. Always a Celtics guy, no matter what. Uh, let's see here. All right, so I'm going to check my uh, invites and see if I have an invite from these guys. And if I do, I will grab that. And we will get this party started. A player has started a group chat. Okay. Uh, but I need, what I need is an invite. I need a session invite. Let me see here. Let me see here. Stand by. A player in your group started a party. I will join that in a session. Boss Abruzzo from, that's Tuesday. I need one for today. So uh, for any of the Abruzzos, if you guys are around, please uh, let me know um, if you're ready to go. We will go ahead and, like I said, I will jump in your lobby. Um, and uh, if not, I'll continue to play GTA Free Aim for a little bit longer here. Please send me a lobby invite when you're ready. And in the meantime, I should probably appear online. Uh, it's pretty hard for them to send me an invite if I'm not appearing online. Sorry, Abruzzos. That's my bad. That is my bad. I always forget to do that. I'm kind of like uh, Lord Cree Cree in that... I like to play appearing offline basically at all times, unless unless there's some specific reason uh, for me to appear online. I tend to appear offline, and that helps me to, um, you know, avoid people because I am so friggin' antisocial. Um, I would prefer to play by myself or with uh, Kit or with Cree, and pretty much that's about it. So yeah. Um, I generally appear offline, that way people can't join on me. And uh, I can just enjoy peace and quiet in the mean streets of Los Santos. Ooh, this guy's got a bounty. Do we want the bounty? Yes or no, guys? Take the bounty? I need to know. Let me know before I go guns blazing on this guy. Are we taking that fool's bounty? I'm going to have to make an executive decision here. The answer is yes. Whoa, whoa, he's got super fast run. He might be taking my bounty. All right, young Dalton, he has super, super fast run. He looks like a TDM head. That might have been a big mistake. All right, that bounty was worth $1,000, which isn't worth it. Uh, so, no, I need to share cash. If you watch the streams, you know, when I take a bounty, I generally will break off the victim uh a 50 percent cut we split it that way you know it doesn't feel so bad wow you mother f i'm trying to do a good thing over here dude wow 
Yeah, get the bounty. I. Right. He said we ready. Okay, cool. Inventory. Let me just try to get this to this guy as quick as I can before I get killed again by somebody sweaty. Where is he? Where is he? Young Dalton. All right. Sorry, young. Oh, wait, not Jay Kennedy. Who's this dude? Young Dalton gets 50. There you go, bro. There you go, man. There you go, man. I'm, somebody's got to get that bounty. I figure at least if it's me, I'm going to break you off a little bit of, a little bit of bread. <laughs> I think that that might be uh, Killer Texas's boyfriend. I don't know. I'm not sure. She's pretty cool, though. She has a great Instagram page, if you know her. Really cool Instagram page. Great pictures. Absolutely smoking hot girl. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> but really chill. Really nice girl. Really nice girl. And uh, I think I might have just killed her boyfriend by accident. I just wanted the bounty, bro. It's nothing personal. I just wanted the bounty. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I get the bounty. All right, cool. Let's check and see if I have an invite. I do. Boss of Bruzo. Let's go. Joining the session now. We are about, what? 15 minutes into the stream, something like that. I apologize for uh, the delay in getting into the lobby, but we're about to kick this off now. Um, so again, like I said, if you have questions, now is the time to ask. If you have questions, now is the time to put them into the chat. We need to send up the value. Yes, I agree with that 100% Cree. I think that's a great idea. We should definitely do that. Ulf is in the chat. What's up, Ulf? Welcome to the live stream. I hope you're having a wonderful night. It's got to be about, what, 1020 for you over there? I am loading into the Abruzzo's lobby right now, and we are about to get this live stream started. Can I get a mic check? Can you guys hear me well enough? I'm going to jump in the potty as well. Stand by, guys. just going to take a second. Always takes me a second to load into potty chats. I heard you. What's up, fellas? What's, What's up, up, man? How are you doing? I'm doing great. I hope you guys are as well. I mean, yeah, it could be, good, better. Could be better. Could be better. Yeah, I heard yeah, the Dawn had some I have issues. Some uh, technical difficulties, you know. You doing all right now? Uh, well, you know, I'm trying to get on right now, but uh, it's stuck at four percent installing, like in the game okay. itself, you know. So okay. I don't really know what to do right now. It's uh, my uh, data corrupted. Oh my god. Whatever gosh. that means. Uh, yeah. Did you try unplugging it and plugging it back in? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I got this uh, extra storage as well. You oh, know, so okay. I had to like repair it. But then, you know, it still doesn't work, so it's a pain in the ass, you know. Yeah, big time, big time. And yeah. if you go to Sony, basically, they just tell you to rewrite the disc every time, so you lose everything. It's a major pain in the neck. Yeah, it's not even oh, something, sorry, you know, it's not even disc-related, so it's stupid, you know. Yeah. It's really stupid. But, you know, it is what it is. That's it. That's it. Well, listen, uh, the good news is, through the miracle of technology, you're able to join us in voice, if not in pixels. That's a good thing. <laughs> and we got the fellas right. out here. I'm sure they'll be looking good. Let's uh, let's head to the back, guys. Um, I am right, guys, rolling uh, up now. Hey, uh, Ray, uh, come over to this gate. So as you guys can see, this here is the Abruzzo family compound. Approach with caution. Okay, I see we got a Make guy sure you open front. up the gate for the uh, fine gentleman. That's great. Thank you, fellas. I appreciate it. Let's head on here. Damn, Phil, that's not very nice. Let's head on in here. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm going to park right on over here. Ooh, I like that paint job on that car. That is beautiful. Cadillacs. I thought of you guys today when I was out on my ride. I saw an old Cadillac. 
maybe thinking Hell of. Yeah. yeah, we're big with the caddies over here. Thanks for grabbing the gates. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Much respect. We'll be in the, the back. Um, kind of near like the little, uh, it's kind of our uh, sacred area, mostly where we do business and do, uh, you know, sacred things with the family. Gotcha. Under that little cupola. Yeah. Very good. That's our spot, you know. That's where uh, most stuff happens, you know. Let's just say it like that. Oh, yeah. No. Guys, uh, if I get whacked, please uh, tell my family I loved them. <laughs> um, so, right, we already, no, we already sent a letter. We already sent a letter, so that's all right. Somebody call and a priest. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Maybe well, I wouldn't really call it letter. a letter. It's more of like a suicide note, but you know, it's all ah, right. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta cover up the yeah. tracks, you know. Uh, yeah. Oh man. <laughs> all right, fellas. What's up, boss? Welcome, welcome. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming out today. Dog, good to see you again. Yes, sir. Good to see you too, bro. Gio, thanks for being here, man. Very good. All right. So, as I said, this is the uh, this is the family compound here. How long have you guys been using this as your primary residence? About a year. Um, our original residence was actually in Vinewood Hills. But that wasn't really like a turf we owned until more so recently, right? So uh, we found this lovely turf, um, and uh, we thought this compound would look great. You know, we acquired uh, it through uh, various means, right? You know, um, and you know, we've been, uh, this has been our. Very good. Your mic is breaking up a little bit. I hope one of us isn't getting booted. We shall see. Um, do you have, uh, do all of you gentlemen have your mics set to share? Did you check that before we got started? Yeah, we already went over that. Yeah. Great. All right, let me just ask a question of the chat. Now that these guys have been talking for a second, can everybody hear them well in the chat on the live stream? Can everybody hear everything? Let me just get a mic. Yeah, you check. know, let's get that done first, you know, before we head into uh, anything else. Otherwise, you know, they might miss something. I've had it happen so many times. And sometimes people's mics cut out while you're screaming and you don't even realize it. So this is where the chat oh. comes in really handy. Yeah. Got a good hey. group watching today. Um, hopefully we have a better, uh, more respectful chat than we had the last time. <laughs> yeah, that was something else, man. I'll tell you. Uh... Yeah, we had another family Special on. Types and of people. Yeah, it's funny how much time people will dedicate to that sort of thing. Um, I can tell you, though, I've gotten a tremendous amount of positive feedback about you guys. Um, despite, you know, sort of some of the comments that were uh, under the announcement, just based on, yeah. you know, I don't know what you want to call it jealousy, just saltiness, what, you know, whatever their problem was. Um, you know, I think you could tell it was coming from a very narrow group of people. Um, off that privately in my dms i got a whole bunch of messages uh from people both in the crime family community and also outside just freedom community in general that had great things to say okay. about you guys um so i don't want any of your uh, good fellas to feel you know that in any way the community wasn't uh supportive of you being on because i can tell you that privately there was a, a tremendous amount of people far more people than any we saw in those comments uh that were really excited yeah. To learn more about you guys. Okay, man. Glad to hear. So, uh, you know, I would say, you know, to, with all the stuff happening, you know, like, let's say under the comment sections, etc., you know, this is like a bad blood that stretches from, like, years ago, you know. Like, this is, this is something that has been building for a while, you know. Um, I can definitely see that, yeah. Yeah, there has been a lot of history, as you can tell. Uh Know, just within you know within our family within the community itself no doubt about it do you mind uh if uh maybe uh dawn or carmine would you guys mind let's start this out with a little bit of history about the gta mafia community um on both playstation and as much as you can say about xbox help the people who really don't know anything about the crime family community know you know sort of what community are you part of what 
what is it that makes the, you know, I don't want to call it, you know, mafia or the Cosa Nostra, but the crime families in general that play in an organized fashion on Grand Theft Auto. Tell me a little bit about the origins of it and what makes it unique. Okay. So a long time ago, as you can tell, uh, back when you were playing uh, on the old consoles on the PS3, people were playing on the Xbox 360. Um, you know, as you know, people got bored. They started creating crews such like, you know, as like MCs. Uh, some people decided to create mafias, you know. So um, the way, uh, what's that uh, sound I'm hearing on the background? Somebody uh, uh, have his mic on unmute? No? All right, whatever. Um, basically, a long time ago, people came together, you know, and they started hosting meetings, you know. Before that, there were already crime families, but it was on a much smaller scale. It wasn't organized. People weren't really talking to each other. But then people came with this concept of commissions, you know, and people started fo uh, forming commissions all over the place. Both consoles, people start creating rule sets around these, you know. People start following these. Some people broke them. You know, this is where things like blacklisting, you know, things like that, you know, deteriorate from. Um, let's see. Um, I would say right now, today, a lot has changed compared to, like, a couple of years ago only. Uh, and I'm, I'm only talking about, like, years like 2019, 2018, you know. Even from that point, a lot has changed. And I think most of my members can confirm that. I think that's true probably across the free aim community, wouldn't you say? Yeah, a lot. You know, it's been happening all over the place, you know. Um, and yeah, you know, it's sad. But, you know, um, I guess, you know, that's how, how things always play out. You know, they're always fun, you know, to do. But then after a while, it gets old and people start like, you know... What's, uh, how should I uh, describe this? People start not really caring, you know, and that's the issue. A lot of people stop caring about the community, you know, X amount of years ago. And, you know, the, the people that was supposed to be here kind of went away. And it made room for other people, you know, people with other intentions, you know, that might not be as, you know, pure as others, you know. Like, a lot of people really wanted this to be a fun community for others, you know. And I'm not saying it's not, you know. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here today. Um, but, you know, definitely a lot has changed and, you know, kind of in a negative way, I would say. Yeah, I think you know, that's unfortunate. On, on, like, another note, though, it is starting to go into, like, a positive way, right? Like, uh, yes, you know, I should mention new, that. Yeah, a new Mafia community yeah. Discord was established, right? Like, a panel of, like, uh, judges will basically, like, make things, like, unbiased, right? Because in, like, 2019, like, a, like it was called, like, the Verified Mafia Community. It was, like, started up right and it was like it was super biased you know it was honestly it was so ridiculous how biased it was you know it was more it was just literally just a commission at that point it wasn't even a community you know yeah so it's not something we wanted um so we put a lot of work to this along you know with other families um that helped create a new community and the kind of a uh, you know revive the community a little bit you know kind of, plus, I will say this, a lot of people have, like, created, like, meetings over the years saying, oh, let's revive the community, but it's never actually worked. But I, I actually think uh, what we've done this time has actually started to revive it a little bit. You know, now we have an actual community Discord where most community members are in. They talk to each other, you know, they shit talk, whatever, you know? Like, the community is, like, talking to each other again. We're not in our separate parties anymore, you know? Yeah, for sure. And that was Carmine talking right then, right? Yeah. Yes. Carmen, will you do me a favor? Um, can you turn your mic up either in your party settings or move your mic closer? You're a little bit quiet. You have great things to say, and I want to make sure everybody is able to hear them. Uh, how's this? It's a little bit better. We'll know, we'll know as you get talking. I'll, uh, I'll let you know okay. as we carry on if you need to go up. I just want to make sure that uh, you don't get drowned out because, like I say, you really do have great things to say. Um, along those lines, Carmine, can you tell us a little bit about those rules? You mentioned that uh, some folks have been drifting away from the rules lately. What are the basic rules that are commonly ac accepted across, you know, the PlayStation crime family community, if you will? Like, what are the what are sort of a few things that people who aren't familiar with the crime family need to know about? Um, 1%, right? That's a major thing right there. 
Uh, yes. We're only 1%. We're not 99%. Um, you know, we only play free aim, right? No auto aim, no frame assisted, straight free aim, right? Um, we don't do ghost, right? We don't use BST. Um, we're very strict when it comes to, like, the rules in general for the community, right? Um, so if you break it, you'll get a strike uh, by, like, the panel of judges and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it, it's very strict over here. We don't play games. Because in the MC community, I know there's, like, I know, like, the free aim MCs look down upon the auto aim MCs, right? But, like, you know, if that was, like, if there was, like, auto aim crime families in this community, they'd be blacklisted instantly, you know? Yeah. They just wouldn't allow that, yeah. For sure. All right, so your mic is a little bit low, Carmine. Thank you very much for that explanation. I heard it just fine. Um, but I'm afraid the, the people watching this, I, I'm afraid the people watching might have a hard time hearing you. Um, what I suggest is if you can go to your, uh, go to your party settings and go to, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go down to them real quick. I got to do this with you. And you go to adjust your microphone level. level. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just turn, turn that up, up you, know, you know, sort of 25% higher than what it is right now, if you don't mind. I just don't want you to get lost in the uh, lost in the sauce. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, so, Dawn, what has what has your been, your experience been? Do you feel like most of the crime families today adhere to the rules that the community has adopted, or do you feel like they're drifting from it? Okay, so right now, as of today, I believe that you know most of the current new families that are coming in, you know, like let's say twenty twenty one, you know. I think a lot of them are trying to do right, you know. Um, there's certainly, you know, but what we do see uh, that is being repeated a lot is, like, a lot of people that start families, but they haven't even been in one. Or they've only been in one for a couple of days, uh, and then they decide to create their own family. And, yeah. you know, there's nothing wrong with creating your own crew, you know. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, I can tell you right now, you know, go, go out there, you know, create your own crew. Um but I would say that in order to run a successful uh, crime family or even an MC for that matter, you got to have some experience, you know, especially as a leader. Like you can be you're kind of uh, responsible for teaching others about this, you know. So if you're going to yeah. go around and you're going to teach them wrong things, uh, you know, which I've seen happen, uh, then that typically doesn't really end well, you know. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like you have a certain amount of responsibility for your members, you know. And, for sure. Uh, yeah, you should always be doing what's right, you know. You should never you know, be putting them people, onto the wrong stuff. Especially like or like these, right? You just go into it like making their own crime family, right? They don't like they don't actually go join like someone else and like learn like the rank, all the ranks. They just go and make their own crew, and that you're not going to be successful with that, you know? Especially if you never ha had any experience, you know, running a crew before. You don't know what the hell you're doing, right? Um, so th that's a big problem right there. And a lot of people fail because of that, because I guess they're too greedy for power. Uh, they can't handle someone else giving them orders. But if you can't handle someone else giving you orders, then your members can't respect them orders. You know, you don't actually know how to give them orders properly, you know? They're just going to probably view you as a jackass. For sure. Now, I got to tell you, so having experience is absolutely vital. Having committed people is absolutely vital, guys who really know what they're doing. This is probably a good time, Carmine, for you to introduce us to the fellows that you have here with us today uh, and help us to understand their uh, roles and responsibilities within the family. All right. Um, <laughs> it's like uh, my son, like, um, We lost Carmine. Your mic sounds great. It just Damn. cut out though. <laughs> would you like to uh, start out? Like, you want me to like explain like what my role is in the family? Yeah, that would be great. To Jimmy, and okay. then go through right. the yeah, go through the lobby. The fellows that we have here with us today, um, and yeah, so that would be great. Just do some introductions. Okay, so um, first, you know, we have Remo. Of course, he's a Don. Uh, he's the leader of the family, right? Uh, basically, he manages all aspects of the crew. Um, and represents the crew kind of as a whole, right? Because at the end of the day, he's the leader. Uh, next, you know, with the second in the command, right? Um, the underboss, which is me. Basically, I uh, pass down orders to the capos. I maintain the regimes, right? Um, I make sure that um, the capos are doing their job properly. And, um, you know, if, 
the capitals have any problems with the members, they bring it to me, right? Um, next, after that, we have the consigulary. Um, the consigulary basically manages aspects of the crew, like kind of like in the community, right? Basically, what the consigulary will do, um, they will uh, message other crews um, to set up like a business meeting or to have like a uh, kind of like do like maybe like an RP meet or something like that or to call them out for a PFMW or FMW or CB or like to schedule it, I should say. I shouldn't say call out, but like that's like to actually like schedule it, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, next after that, uh, we have the capos, right? And the capos, uh, they basically have their own regimes in the crew. And like what a regime is, is kind of like, think of it as like a crew in a crew, you know? Uh, basically, they have like their sub crew within the whole crew. Little boy guy so within the family, yeah. Yeah, so they'll go into their own regime parties, um, and they'll do stuff with their own uh, regimes. Um, we have two regimes. We have Patola Dry, which is like the RP content-oriented like uh, regime, and then we have Murder Inc. And Murder Inc. is more so about uh, wax and TDMs, PFMW stuff like that. Um, of course, you know Portola Drive members can still participate in all of that, but Murder Inc. is more so just for that, right? Um, the capo of Portola Drive is Lucio. Uh, you know, the capo of uh, Murder Inc. is Luca, right? So Lucio um, and Luca. The job as a capo is to like do these activities with their members, right? Do TDMs, um, do RP, do content, stuff like that, you know? Um, and keep their members in line and keep them in check, right? Um, they also hand down orders from uh, myself, and I get those orders from Remo, right? Um, after that, right below is capo, is enforcer. Enforcers are kind of like a... They're kind of like the assistant capo, if you want something like that, or, or maybe like the, the capo's consigulary. They, like, advise the capo on certain things, right? Or, like, they, they like, help them, like, uh, maintain order within, like, the regime, right? We don't have any enforcers in this group because uh, our guys are mostly pretty, you know, well, uh, yeah, they're, like, uh, maintained, right? They don't mess up. They don't do anything, right? So we're pretty good with them, right? Um, so we don't really need enforcers. But if we had, like, a really big regime, then definitely we would have, like, enforcers. But uh, gotcha. right below the enforcers are, like, the soldiers, right? Just, like, made guys, right? Uh, made guys, you know, like, being made is, like, a really big thing in pretty much any crime family, right? Because you're actually being inducted into the crew. You're, like, a full member in the crew now, you know? You're not just, like, an recruit or, like, an associate anymore. Like, you're a full-on member. So, you know, it, it's a big thing. Even though it's not, like, a hierarchy rank or anything, it's still a big thing. And it's definitely a, uh, it's the biggest honor of respect you can get in the crew, you know? Um, below that is, like, the associate rank. They're kind of, like, you know... The recruit in the crew, right? You know, they don't really know what they're doing yet. Um, they're just getting started out with things, right? Gotcha. It looks like we're having a whole bunch of connection issues all of a sudden. That's well, not is, is my mic, you know, going in and out, or no? Your mic is actually really good right oh now, my but God, I see I, we, fuck. Got, we got we got people dipping out of the potty and that kind of thing. I don't yeah, know what's going I, on. Yeah, I can tell. I hope it's up. okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so our our salty router. friends are uh, having uh, you know they're tickling some routers right now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just press on. We'll just press on through that. Um, so one of the things you know I, I, I'm really curious about. So I you know I want to make it very clear that uh, I have never seen anything out of you guys that I would consider to be you know not legit so to speak. Um, but certainly within the community, there are a lot of families that are up to no good. Running auto aim, running programs, booting people, doxing kids. Right. Like literally doxing children. It's so disgusting. Oh, yeah, yeah um, it really is disgusting. It's so gross. Um, but so I guess I want to know, you know, your family, you operate within this community. Um, you know, is this is this something that you're – family engages in i mean i hate to even ask it but you know it's a it's a serious question you know do you guys no. get in do you have to get involved with running programs and booting people or any of that we've never had to run programs before we never had to run um like freezers to actually win a fight i think that's kind of embarrassing um that you actually have you're so ass of the game you have to cheat to actually win right um it's just pathetic uh, we don't do that um we don't dox people we've never doxed people in this crew um, especially children. That's that's disgusting, you know. Um, and like we follow the community rules to the best of our extent, right? Um, we don't do any stuff like that. Um, we don't pull people's IPs. We don't do things like this. Um, I mean, we were on the hierarchy. I mean, at, le at least except for Jimmy, I was into Taglia. Uh, Remo was also into Taglia, right? He was in there longer than I was. But in this crew, they did things like that. They pulled people's IPs. Um, 
it, they like dox people they expose people like it's such a toxic mindset in there and they really like once you get in there they try to like force that mindset um, like as much as possible on you right um and it like you start to realize after a while like this isn't right this is like this is fucked up like because you're not just booting that guy's wi-fi you're probably booting like their parents wi-fi too you're booting their whole household's yeah. wi-fi you know like that's messed up that's not right you know you don't do that you know um you don't like dox people's like home address you don't dox their phone numbers you know like this is what these guys do it's not normal it's like some type of psychological thing that's going on in their head that they have that, that like they have the need to do this it's just fucked up yeah I yeah it's true more. i can tell you man i know all about it in fact you know once you enter those type of crews you see a lot of people um you know start off in these type of families you know uh, because they're attractable to a lot of different types of people, you know. So when you come in there, uh, usually they won't be asking you to do stuff like that from the beginning, you know. Uh, what happens is they kind of uh, grooming might be the right type of word, you know. They kind of groom you into that, you know. So what happens is you hang around these guys, you like them, uh, you know. A, a bunch of shit happens. Uh, there's wars going on, you know. There's a lot of toxicity going on. Um, you know, and then one day, you know, it happens, you know, people start booting, you know, it's a never ending game. When people start booting you, you're going to start doing it back and it just never ends, you know. So, uh, I would say I moved away from those people, uh, around last year, actually. Uh, I was a capo eventually in that, uh, in that crew, uh, which stands for a capo regime, as you already knew, mm -hmm. a captain. Um, I had a lot of close friends in that crew. Uh, people that are no longer in there and you know uh, most people that i actually knew went away or got killed you know so um you know it's sad but you know it is what it is you know i've lost friends over it you know i've lost a lot of things over it but the past is the past you know yeah so talk to me about the future i mean there does seem to be this little bit of a revival going on in the community do you oh, yes. think that there is a desire to have a clean community, no programs, no Definitely. foreign VPNs, none of this IP nonsense. Um, you feel like there's a demand for that? And what do you think is going to be different this time around as the community kind of tries to rebuild itself? Okay. Yeah, so uh, there's a, there's some other families around right now, actually. Uh, they're watching the stream, probably. Uh, and I would say, uh, it, well, there's a Satan, this guy, which is uh, an alt account of uh, one of those people, but... Um, Nexos here uh, is part of the Leon crime family. Uh, he's also part of one of those families that uh, actually tries, you know. Um, the problem is people didn't really want to try in the past. And now it's come to a point where, you know, people are so desperate to have a, a good community again, you know, that they're actually willing to sit down and talk, which before was kind of a harder thing to do because personal vendettas got in the way, personal beefs, um... You know, people just didn't like each other, you know, didn't want to talk to each other, didn't want to see each other, and nothing got done, you know. And then eventually, after a couple of years of it being that way, of the Mafia community just being completely the Wild West, you know, let's just call it like that. Yeah. Um, people now actually, you know, are starting to like judges. People are actively joining the Discords. People are applying for admin in the Discord, you know. Um, I would say it's also bringing... Uh, you know, a lot of it's clowns back, you know, but I actually like that, you know, it's good to see some, uh, old faces. Yeah. Um, but yeah, certainly there's some respectable guys out there, you know, I mean, last week you've done the Merlino interview, which, you know, you did a very good job on, by the way. Thanks. Uh, they're a group of respective guys, but, uh, what they, you know, they kind of decided to stay out of, uh, this whole thing, which I find... You know, I wish they didn't, you know, I wish they mm -hmm. would actually engage, you know, with the community, but, you know, that's their personal decision, and, you know, I can only respect that, you know. I can definitely tell you, for a lot of people, the way they feel is, is like, you know, they don't want to save the community because they, they feel like it doesn't need to be saved no more, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, so much has happened, saving. people, yeah. exactly, like, so many people, they're just sitting there and thinking, you know, Oh, well, if that guy's involved, I don't want to be involved. Or, you know, if those people are involved, I don't want to be involved, you know. And that's not the way we should think about certain things, you know. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, when people stick to themselves, you know, that's fine as well. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but what we are now trying to do is actually something brand new. You know, I mean, it builds upon the previous community. Um, but I feel like it's a lot easier for newer families, for those fresh faces, to like build a rep for themselves, you know, and actually do something. Because before, if you weren't quote unquote verified, is what we used to call it, you weren't allowed to claim any turf, any land on the map. You couldn't. Uh, you had to wait two months, uh, you know, you had to have your crew up for two months actively. Uh, and a certain amount of members, I forgot what it was. Um, I'm pretty sure that's still a rule. Is it? I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think so, actually, because no, I'm yeah, seeing a lot of new families pop up on the turf map, you know, recently. I think so. I think the judges, like, I don't know. I don't really know the whole thing, because I'm not a community judge anymore. But I think they maybe, like, made, like, a thing where they, like, uh, made, like, an exception or some shit like that. It's, you know, since a lot of new families were coming in, you know. So they can at least, like, yeah. claim turf, because the turf map does promote activity, right? So maybe they made, like, an exception for it. But I'm pretty sure that's still a rule. Hmm. Okay, well, regardless, so, you know, you had to wait a certain amount of time to actually get on that map, you know. So, for a lot of people that came in, at first, it was like, uh, oh, well, I already don't want to do this because I don't want to sit around and wait for that long just to gain any land while, you know, they personally feel as if they can beat anybody up, you know, and take their turf, you know. So, yeah. you know, that actually caused a lot, you know, a lot of people to, you know, go away again, you know, because they're like, oh, well, fuck this, you know. Um, yeah, I guess though, I mean, <clears throat> the community has to be more about shooting, right? Shooting is certainly yeah. a part of it. It's GTA. Exactly, it's a big part of yeah. it. It's fun. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a, definitely a way you can establish pride and, you know, settle disputes and that kind of thing. And it's just a fun activity. But like at the end of the day, you don't have to dress up as mafia guys to go shoot people. You don't have to be part yeah. of a crew or have a family or any of that. You know, it's the standards that you set within the community that makes it special, that is going to attract a certain kind of person who wants to be part of something that's bigger than themselves, right? Otherwise, otherwise you could just go put a rebreather on a helmet and go blow yourself up in the streets 47 <laughs> times exactly. a day. Like, you know, you want to be part of something new you want, or, or something that's established, that has tradition, that is special, yeah. Um, then, yeah, you want to operate within those rules. I, I can tell you, I don't want to take over the, the conversation here, but I, you know, I've, I've mentioned it before. Like I remember, I used to run into mafia families, and I'd be excited. I'd be like, "Oh, cool! We're gonna get a legit fight: bikers versus mafia." Yeah. You know what I mean? Like classic <laughs> ARs and all of that. Exactly. Right. Um, I used to really look forward to it, and now That's it's gone. just oh, it's, it's off gone, radar, huh? on bull shock, you know, with auto yeah. aim, and then bragging about scorecards and all that. Like you're like, dude, yep. what are you talking yeah. about? You play like That's a. All true. An absolute it's trash can. It's just, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, cancerous, I guess, is the word for it, you know. People really, I mean, I don't know what it is, you know, but I guess it's more of the, more sort of competition in it, you know. I want to be better than you, but those type of people, like, they take it to the next level, you know. They're thinking, oh, I want to be better than you, but I also want to talk mad shit, you know. And, and it's ego. came to the point where it's mostly only shit talking because now... People are talking so much shit on each other. Like, I swear to God, sometimes I think they're, like, IRL beefing, you know, at that point. Because yeah. if you really think about it, it is just a video game, you know. But for a lot of people, it's their lives, you know, and, and they take that shit personally, you know. Um, yeah, we, seriously, like, we could, we could definitely tell, you know, with some people uh, that have been roaming around for a while now that they really have that shit stuck in them, you know. They really can't get rid of that. Yeah. So what are you going to – so tell me how your family is different. How are you guys going to individually, you know, help to set an example within the community? What are your priorities? What are your, what are your ethics? What are, you know, what are the things that you consider important in terms of how you conduct yourselves within the community? Okay. Um, well, the way we conduct ourselves in the community, right, um, well, we try to set an example by actually following the rules as much as possible, right? Um we want other families to basically, you know, uh, just follow our example, right? We want people to maybe incorporate RP into the crew as well as shooting, you know? That's why we have two regimes. We have one regime for shooting, the other regime for RP, you know? So if someone doesn't like shooting but they like RP, they, you know, they have options, right? They actually have options, you know? So they're not, like, uh, just forced to do shooting if they're ass at it and they don't like it, right? 
um, with our crew, uh, we set standards with content, right? Every member, except for Murder Inc., because, you know, they're more shooting orientated, but they can still do content. But every member in the crew, um, they have to do content, right? Um, and we teach them how to do it, too. If they don't know how to do it, we'll teach them how to do it. Uh, and we try to set an example that, you know, they have good content, you know, they have something that's interesting, you know, have like a good storyline behind it, have good photos, you know, because um, we actually, you know, want our crew to be represented in the way that we perceive it, you know, as like decent and not shit, you know, because if your content is shit, your crew's going to be perceived as shit too, you know, so mm -hmm. um, we try to have it set up, um, you know, as best as possible, right? Um, when it comes to ethics, right, of course, like we already said this earlier, we don't believe in booting, right, we don't believe in, like, cheating, especially cheating, um, you know, because we try to actually, you know, I don't think we, we no, we've never even used imports before. You have people who use imports 24-7 for the crew because they don't have any decent shooters. It, it's pathetic. It's legitimately yeah. just yeah. pathetic. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just the way it is, man, 2021, you know? <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean that's that. I mean honestly, I would I would say personally, um, the way we try to represent a brood, though, um, is just the best way as we can. You know, I mean it's our crew. It's something that we created, so we're always going to be proud of it. So we're not going to tarnish it or try and do something stupid with it. You know, yeah. so uh, yeah, honestly, like a lot of people, they don't really care about what they're doing. You know, like they'll join a crew, join the next crew like a week later you know and crew hop for months on end you know you know haven't been in like 20 separate crews you know over the course of like six months but you know that's just how it is with some people you know um yeah what's the I mean, process for getting into your what's the process for getting into your family look like for somebody who was interested in joining what what how do you determine okay, so, you know how you welcome people to the family and that kind of thing okay so typically it already start like you know, where we got this person from, you know, like, did they message us, and if so, what was it on, like, did they try and do it on Instagram, if so, we might be more hesitant on letting them in, you know, because that's where all the rats come from, you know, mm. um, I don't know if you're familiar with the term rats in this community, it no. basically means, uh, well, what dons do, or just crime families in general, they like to send other people to another crime family to basically gain intel on that family. Mm. You know, screen record their party, uh, sc fuck, my bad. Sc uh, screen record their chats, uh, record their voices, uh, gain as much info as possible, sabotage the crew, sabotage other members in every way possible. Um, so they've been trying to do that, you know. So that is why we're very careful with those, you know, with the process of letting people in, especially through Instagram. Because that's where all these guys are on, right? So, huh. um, how often does that go on? How prevalent would you say that is within the community? Oh, every couple of days or so, you know, not even, you know, sometimes every single day. I'll have somebody messaging me, yo, can I join a brood zoo? And I, I know for certain it's a rat, you know, sent by, I'm not going to say their names, but you know who I'm talking about, you know. Uh, wow, by the way, that's, that's another rule. Wild. I cannot acknowledge them, so I cannot yeah. say their name out in yep. public just like that you know it can get you know it can actually get me in trouble so yep. i'm not gonna do it uh, it's just i try stupid. not i try not to call out any crews specifically sometimes yeah, i do for attention because you know, i get it's irritated literally but... what they're built around yeah so, i can i can definitely see that yeah. we're both we're definitely talking about the same people now so how does that i gotta think that that adds Sad. a certain level of intensity and danger like we're standing around here and as you're oh, saying yeah, yeah, these guys yeah, go definitely. through this level like i'm looking over there at hollow boy back there like wait a minute is he gonna roll a grenade in here like <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully not you know uh, <laughs> right, right. I, but um not for real though like yeah there is kind of a day you know because you're kind of um hesitant on letting people in you're like oh this guy could be a rat this guy could be a rat so Let's say it's it's somebody that the family knows, like a friend of the family or a friend of a family member, then chances are that, you know, you're probably going to get accepted because you already yeah. know somebody that's in, you know. Yeah. Um, other ways we recruit as well is through Facebook, you know. We okay. get a lot of people messaging us on Facebook, you know. Um, that's the way we handle most recruits. We'll send them a question list. Uh, they need to fill that out as honest as possible. Uh, I mean, they need to fill that out honestly, you know, period. But um, 
Yeah. You know, we just look at the replies and we determine whether they're fit to join, you know. I mean, they're real simple questions, you know, nothing crazy. Um, and then if we're satisfied, we'll get in a party with them, talk to them, kind of run them through everything, uh, go over the rules with them, uh, tell them what we expect of them, and tell them what they can expect from us, you know. Uh, yeah. So in case you wondered, you know, it'd be backup from the family. You know, let's say even if you were just an associate, Let's say you're fighting somebody in game, you need help. The whole the whole family is gonna want to jump on to help you, you know, because it's just the way it is. You know, people when they get in here, uh, we really try to have like a like a unity going on amongst each other, you know, because a lot of people don't like each other in the community. So what's important to us is for at least our members to like each other, you know, and work together yeah. in a good way. Um, so yeah, I mean, once they get in. Uh, they start hanging around us, you know. I mean, mostly they can just uh, sit in the party and chill, or they come and game with us on other games, or run some TDMs, do some stand your grounds. Um, I don't know, create some content. Kind of depends on it. Uh, everybody's kind of different in their own way when it comes to that. Some people like to do certain things, but don't like to do other things, like Karma I mentioned before, you know. So that is why we did that system, you know. Whereas to like, you know, if you like shooting, you can be a shooter. If you like content, you can be a content creator, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, you can go on my voice pages, you know. You can see, like, they create some quality content, you know. I mean, oh, Lucio, sure. sadly here, you know, kind of disappeared out of the party. But he make, he makes some really good content, you know. Carmine makes some really good content as well, you know. Surem as well. That's something you can be proud of, you know, uh, if you have those people around you. So, yeah. No doubt about it. I'm going to put links to your uh, family pages in the description. So anybody who's watching this stream later on, if yeah, you want to learn sure, more man. or see some of the content um, that the Abruzzos create, I'll definitely put links down there so that they can go check it out. Um, what, would you say, what would you say is your overall goal for the family, Dawn? Like, what would you like to see happen? If we're looking... Five years down the line from now, oh, you know what? What would look like time, you know? your dream come true for a Bruzo? I know. Yeah, I mean that is a long time. So I mean, honestly, um, the way I w would want it to be is just remain active. You know, have the same people that are here standing today, and you know, go five years into the future and look back and say, "Damn, you know, y'all still, you know." So yeah. Um, but you know, that's only a blessing, you know that for now we're, we don't have you know but i hope that is actually a thing you know like let's say in five years from now oh what's up jimmy you know been a while um so you know that that bond is there you know after like five years of just hanging around each other you know i'm sure you had that uh, as a lord as well you know so yeah uh, but yeah, yeah for now just building up our name gain uh, gaining recruits um remain active and uh yeah just do good and strive for the better man it's beautiful. Uh, let me uh, let me toss some questions around to some of the guys. Doc, um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, man. Um, thank you for being here tonight. How how long have you been in the family, and what is your role within the family? Um, I've been around since uh, about I want to say maybe a month and a half, two months after it started. Um, I usually set up like all the business dealings, all the like sit downs with other crews. And, that sort of, those th uh, those sort of things. Great, and uh, so w what is it that drew you to the family? What made you wanted to join the Abruzzos? Well, I mean, tell uh, him, tell him. <laughs> yeah, tell him. So, one of the original founding members, uh, Giuseppe, I w he was my don, uh, back in like 2019 in Arlino, and. I like I I was I was always pretty close with them. So yep. after a while, like I was out of the community for about like I don't know like six seven months, and he just hit me up out of the blue. He was like, "Yo, um, starting a new family with a couple of the, couple of guys I knew from like uh, the past. I uh, just wanted to know if you were interested." I said, "Yeah, why not? I mean, I was bored at the time, so why not?" That's great. That's great. And do you think would you? Do you think that this is uh, something that you would consider yourself highly committed to in it for the long haul? 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I like even if I have like things going on like in real life, like I mean I always do, but I always still try to find time to get on at least like a couple times a week. So I, I, I think I'll be here for the long haul, definitely. That's you know what's great. funny, uh, Dirty Worker? He actually, well, okay, so when we first started the crew, uh, Giuseppe, which is the, you know, the guy who he's referring to, he was the yeah. consigliere, and now Jimmy is the consigliere, you know? It, yeah, it's funny how things work ironic. out. Yeah. yeah. Birds of a feather. They kind of knew yeah. each other, had a relationship, makes sense that those kind of guys would get along. Now he fits naturally into that role. That's dope. Uh, and Luca, welcome back. Are you on mic again? Yeah, I'm still here. Great. Luca, tell me about uh, your role within the family um, and how long you've been here, that kind of thing. All right, so I'm the capo of Murder, Inc. Uh, I know Carmen kind of got into like, what both regimes do, but I'm going to go into more detail. So my regime consists of the best, right, the best shooters in the crew, and my role is to make sure we all stay the best. So we run TDMs pretty much all day while everyone else is doing content, and we do training in lobbies against the MCs, you know, people who are willing to give us a fair fight. Um, That's I've been That's in great. Abruzzo since they restarted back up. I've known the guys for a little while. Uh, Carmine, Remo, Jimmy, I've known them for a while. And uh, when they That's asked me great. to join, I said, yeah, you know, it's a new opportunity. And it's a great family. So. How do you feel about that role within the family? I mean, it sounds like, you know, if there's going to be trouble with other families and that kind of thing, you're probably the guy who gets the call to go handle it. Am I right? Yeah, it's it's a much it's more suited to me. I don't make content. I, I don't yep. So it's it's more my thing. I really appreciate the opportunity that they gave me. Gotcha. And what is it about the uh, crime family or, you know, sort of role playing within a uh, a crime family on GTA that was attractive to you? Are you like a fan of old school gangster movies and stuff like that? Yeah, or I'm a what? big fan of the, like the OG mafia movies, you know. Um, I also like rules when it comes to games. You know, yeah. I don't want to go blowing people up for no reason. That's not fun. Yeah. And, uh, I would much rather drive a car than ride a bike, you know. So it's yeah. kind of this, this is more suited <laughs> for me than the MC community would be, or any other yeah. community. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. And uh, to the gentleman to my left, Sir M Abruzzo, tell us your uh, your your full gamer name and uh, your position within the within the family. All right. So my name's basically Milano, right? Milano. Okay. Um, Yep. Um, I think I initially joined like a month after the family started or around that. Um, currently, I run a business in Grand Sonora, you know, where we do very questionable things. Um, <laughs> I, that's basically my role, you know, like just make content, you know, make sure the family has a good image on Instagram, you know, like with storylines and images and like that's about it, really. That's great. Uh, and Milano how, how long have you been with uh, the family? Oh, sorry, carry on. Yeah, no, my bad, my bad. Milano, how long you been with the family? Uh, I initially joined like after like a month or two after it started. So, great, great. And Milano uh, was actually uh, go ahead, one yep. of the first capos of uh, that we had in, in the approved. So, so he, he, correct. So he's able to hold that OG capo position, you know. But he's not a capo anymore. Uh, but uh, you know, maybe one day yeah, he'll go back to that position. But you know, yeah, he's the first cap of a brute. So, but it's definitely good that uh, you know we're able to have members stick around for like you know a long time. You know, um, yeah. Because a lot of people they go through members like through like a fucking month, and then like yeah. they're gone. That's it. They're only there for a month and then they leave. But we're like we're, we're we're very fortunate to have a loyal group of guys. You know, who we're all very close with. You know. Back. Yeah. No doubt about it. And uh, Ray, same questions for you. Tell us a little bit about your uh, yourself in the family. How long you been here? What role you play within the family? Hey, how's it going? Uh, Good. I'm new to the community. Um, I would consider Abruzzo my first family, uh, actual legit family. Um, I joined back when they started back up. Um, I'm a soldier in Mur Murder Inc. Uh, I just basically run TDMs. Uh, I don't do much content, so uh, yeah. You just ready to you ready to help defend the family's <laughs> honor when the time yeah. comes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always on call, you know. That's great. That's great. Yeah. I love it. 
No, I can relate to you guys. I was in a, a club for many years, and like I held many, many different positions within the club. Yeah. But all I really wanted to do was go shoot the enemies. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't want to like all the other stuff. Sounded, you know, I figured there's you know a different position for everybody to play within an organization, and really that yeah. is that's where the most fun is. So I definitely know where you guys are coming from in Murder Inc. And uh, Holler Boy, can you hear me? <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, hauler boy. Sorry, hauler boy. Can you hear me? No. All right. Well, He's just I an see okay. Very uh, good. Yeah. See, I wish, uh, I wish uh, someone wasn't, you know, tickling our routers because otherwise, yeah. Everyone would have been in oh here. my god. Yeah. I yeah. Know, right? Like, yeah. I'm trying to like. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, it's a shame. But, he had to put, you know, everyone's grandmother's life support machine on single player, you know. Yeah, as oh he calls it. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm going to say it again. I said it on uh, the last stream. I'm going to say it again. For everybody who's watching right now, you have to reset your modems. You got to unplug your modems for 30 minutes. If you play with sweaty kids and they sniff your IP address... And you don't want to get booted off a week from now, two weeks from now, six months from now, all the time. You have to get a new IP address. The way you get a new IP address is by unplugging your modem for 30 minutes. That's all you got to do. Unplug it, and your internet service provider will issue you a new IP address. And then those sweaty, pale-skinned kids have to sniff you again, which means they have to get into a lobby or a party with you further down the road. So you at least buy yourself a minute of peace. They can always sniff you again, but... Um, yeah, don't make it easy for them, guys. All right. We do have some That's soldiers in party who, out of the way. like, aren't in-game, like uh, Geo and Frank, you know? Say um, hi, fellas. Frank, Geo. Oh, oh Frank my left. God. Oh, I guess someone booted him <laughs> off as well. <laughs> They're like, oh, Frank's in here? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I know. It's, uh, it, it's so pathetic, but, you know, even you can't even, like, have an interview in peace, you know, but... Probably have yeah. IPs at this point. Yeah, I think I mean, they have Sony like an should IP really chat do or some shit like this. this. Yeah, more yeah. like an IP bank, I would say. You know, at this point, but yeah. um, nah, Sony but should definitely do something about this. Like, I think if it's... you're playing online, yeah. I mean, at least if you're playing online, you're playing on a Wi-Fi network or something. At least you should have some sort of security from like other people finding out where you live, uh, what your IP address is. You know, because now. They can boot you offline, you know, like they can do a bunch of stuff with your IP, you know, so, yeah. you know, it's really stupid. I think at least from my perspective, that is it not should my be IP like, Go ahead. Yeah. yeah well, Sorry. I think from my perspective, at least like um, Sony should like at least put on like a feature or something that allows you to not be sniffed in game by some random ass kid that lives on the other side of the world. You like, yeah, it wouldn't be difficult it's lame. to do. No, what they need to have is is essentially an intermediary server that anonymizes right. the packets as they go through. Like that's all literally all you have to do. Um and they they just choose not to make that investment. They're making billions and billions. Rockstar could do that too. You know, um you know, as long as you yeah. get into potty chats with somebody, if you just stay in game chat, Rockstar could do that themselves. Just anonymize the packets. Um it's not you know that technically complicated. Um, See, but they just literally not, choose not to not do it. They're not legally liable, though. You know, like, they're, they're not going to spend the money. On the Technically, you're going onto the internet on your own risk, right? So, yeah. like, if someone gets their IP or, you know, they get booted off, we're cutting out, Tony isn't uh, responsible, you know? Come yep. on. We're kind of, yep. uh... Well, but no. You're breaking up a little. better. Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah, but, like, lo legally, Sony isn't responsible for that, you know? So why would they invest the money if they're legally not like you know responsible? You know, like the only thing that would happen, is like a few like a news page articles that oh Sony is you know investing money into this, but that's not, it's not going to be any like huge publicity, so it's not worth it for them. You know. Yeah, you know? I think ultimately there'll be regula regulations that come in. Um, there'll be legislation that you know comes into the industry. Anytime you have an industry that is like refusing to do the best things on behalf of consumers, the government steps in and says, okay, now you have to do it. Like, it, you know, it's not like GM said, okay, we're going to put seatbelts in our cars um, or, you know, or you have to go buy an aftermarket seatbelt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to go buy an aftermarket airbag. 
right? They didn't, you know, they didn't put them in the cars. So the federal government came along and said, these are the safety standards uh, and you have to comply with them. And, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and it'll happen the same way with gaming and everything else is, you know, you have children in particular um, who are being exploited on video games. Um, you know, they're being groomed and uh, ultimately people are finding out where they live and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's only a matter of time before the government steps in and does something about it. In the meantime, we have to deal with these, you know, e-thugs who, you know, like I say, they don't see sunshine, they don't touch grass, they've never had yeah. pussy, like they're just... You know, they're sad, pathetic human beings who feel the need to feel tough on the internet because um, they're yeah, weak, chicken-breasted little bitches in real life. You know what I mean? Like, it's just that simple. <laughs> um, and it's unfortunate, but it's just something we got to deal with for now. But moving back to the uh, moving back to the positive. So you guys mentioned you like to make content. You like to make TDMs. Yes. What other kind of things do you do as a family just, you know, if somebody, you know, if somebody was considering joining a Bruzo, you know what, what's a what's the day to day, week to week, month to month look like in the family? Okay, so um, you want to answer you wanna... that one, Carmont? Yeah, I'll, I'll answer it. Um, right. Basically, uh, like a normal day in a Bruso was would be like we all get in the party, right? Uh, we'll start talking, right? We'll start like laughing and whatnot, and then we'll just get down to business, right? Um, usually, uh, it kind of depends. Like, let's say uh, we mostly have like patrol drive members in the party, right? Then we'll just stay in like the main party. But let's say we have um, mostly Murder Inc. people in the party, then we'll just stay in the party. But if we have a bunch of Murder Inc. and patrol drive people in the party, then what we'll do is make, we'll do some crew activities together as a crew. But then after that, we'll go and switch into our own regime parties, right? And do our, you know, uh, the capitals will do their own regime activities. Um, the administration will usually stay in the main party and switch from, you know, um, each party the party, check out what's going on, you know, make sure everything, you know, is going well, right? Um, after that, um, we might do some recruitment later on, uh, maybe like 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, a bit more later uh, as we go into the day, right? Recruit, I get some members on, right? Um, and, like, you know, get new people in the crew. Um, so, like, that's kind of like a normal day, right? Um, this is typically what happens uh, most of the time. Sometimes uh, we might have like, an event that we will go to, like uh, this Friday. Uh, very good friends of ours, uh, Goldstein. They're a, a Jewish crumb family. They're you know doing like a casino night, so we'll be attending yeah. that, right? Um, you know, so it, it's not the same thing every day. There is t different things we do, you know. So, it, it, but it's a fun thing. Uh, we're a very tight knit group of people, um, at least for the most part. You know, uh, some of the associates, new recruits, they're not gonna know what everyone as well, but we'll get used to it, and hopefully uh, we'll get more closer, as uh, you know. The days go by, right? But uh, I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much what goes on for the most part. And we're, if we're not doing anything, we're just talking about IRL stuff, or we're just talking about, you know, joking around about like the community and whatnot, and making fun of like, you know, clowns like, uh, like, <laughs> you know, like the clowns that like pull IPs and whatnot. We'll, we'll <clears throat> imitate them. Or like that. I got you. Yeah. I got you. I mean, you know, if it's just all of us together, you know, uh, just chilling and hanging out, you know, on a Friday night, you know. Bro, we have some of the best laughs I've ever had in my life, you know, just from hanging around some of these guys, you know. Yeah, so, I, I second that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think I agree with that, yeah. Some, uh, some fun stuff has happened, uh, you know, while, while we were doing this. Let's just uh, say it like that. Yeah. Got you. All right, so it's not all just sitting around smoking cigars, sipping espresso no. and talking family business. <laughs> no, definitely not. You guys yeah, have fun when you're not. online. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, always, that's, that's honestly one of the main goals whenever we all get on. It, it, we don't like to be all super serious all the time. Yeah, that's great. So important. So important. That's good. Is there anything else you'd like people to know about your family before we wrap up? Um, um, Remo, you want to take this one? I can't really think of anything, you know. Now that he's asking, I can't think of anything. <laughs> but you know, tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, oh damn, shit, you know, I should have said this, you know. Drop it um, as a comment in the video after. Don't be shy about it. You guys just drop anything in the comments that you. Is there you any like say uh, later. questions anyone want to like ask in like the comments or you know? Yeah, Should I still have those? some questions, but I just, before we, I, I want to make sure that I cover them off because I'm about to okay. go into my boom, 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 boom mode. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, um, okay, okay. 
for you guys, uh, for you guys in the chat right now, please let me know if you have any questions for the Abuzos. Soon as Dirty called for me, I was like, "Oh God, where's my mic?" <laughs> I know that feeling, Holla Boy. I know what, I know how that happens, Raphael. Um, so yeah, no, like I say, I just you know I have just a couple more questions that I you know I want to ask, um, particularly okay. in relation to like other families in the community, where the community's headed, that kind of stuff. Um, so I just you know I don't I don't want to essentially you know burn out your time uh with questions that yeah, i have no, in mind when there are things that you want to say to represent your family you know um so uh i guess i'd like to know in the future i guess you know one of my biggest challenges in this is i'm new to the mafia community i'm new to the crime family community now i have been playing within the crime family community for many many years you know somebody made a comment on one of my posts today and i was like all i could think is like dude like i was sitting down with dawns across our mc table on ps3 when this kid's mom's was still cutting you know the crust <laughs> off his bread off his sandwich you know what i'm saying like yeah. like i've definitely been around the the crime family community yeah. for a long time but it's generally from an oppositional standpoint like it's usually shooting at crime families and them shooting at me and that kind mm -hmm. of thing so um so i guess i'd like to understand you know i want to continue to keep this series rolling i find the community fascinating i want to learn more about the history the structure all of that kind of stuff um and i really only want to associate with people who are trying to make the community great you know what i'm saying i don't want to deal with these guys who would like Again, docs and children, like literally docs and children. I mean, yeah, no, I can't even I tell you. Like, it. it's absurd. Um, and cheating at video games, like I, the the level of virginity um, to do that kind of stuff to me, like, can't be yeah. overstated. Like, it's so pathetic. Um, so I really don't want to mess with people like that. So my question for you guys is, you know, who are some of the other families? Um, and I don't want you to feel pressured. Let's put it like this: give me two families so you don't have to like come up with a full exhaustive list i don't want anybody else feeling bad they didn't mention your family or something like that um but like carmine if you would give me one and then um dawn if you would give me one that helps me to you know sort of yeah know who okay, i could I would, potentially uh, look at in the future i would definitely recommend uh savello right um, savello like okay the yeah, the Savello, they're, I mean, we might be a little biased with this because they are, like, <laughs> long-time allies, yeah, right? Yeah, I was finna but, say, um, man, like... That's who like, you're supposed uh, to say. Yeah, yeah. but, like, uh, <laughs> they're long-time allies, right? Uh, we've been allies with them for God knows how long, over a year now. And exactly. what's really interesting about them is they're the first Australian in crime family. There's never been an Aus I mean, they act, they are Italian. They, they're Australian-based, though, you know? It's insane. And I've never seen before in the community and these guys popped up over a year ago i was like hmm, this should be interesting you know yeah, it was Hopefully, crazy. Uh, but th they've been able to to survive and make australian people in there so they kind of represent the australian side of the community of the mafia community so yeah usually the mafia community is only american europeans right Karma, never, you're cutting out yeah there's never really been from oceania it's really just americans and europeans in this community you know yep. so it's definitely yep. like you know a little weird but, you know, yeah. they're definitely a very unique crime family. And, you know, they're okay. legit, you know. Great I love group. that. Great group of guys. Yeah, real great group of guys. You know, they're Don, great guy. Um, you know, I mean, I, I really want to let you guys, you know, talk to the guy himself. Um, yeah. So you actually have the chance to meet him one day and uh, actually see what he's like. He's a pretty chill dude. Great. Uh, I will say that, um, you know, he is busy, though, a lot of the time. You know, uh, you know, like most people he has a job you know so i don't know about that and even for us we experience that sometimes it's a little hard getting into games with them because of the time zone difference but of course you know we were able to work around that quite a you know few times so uh yeah Great. um he said savello i was actually about to say the exact same you know family but, uh, <laughs> i guess i'm forced to say uh another family then well you already did the merlinos yeah um you know, the sad thing is, uh, it's kind of hard for me to find other, you know, pretty good families. I would say, though, um, you know, honestly, the only good family that I really see right now that is kind of trying now, you know, kind of gaining reputation slowly by slowly, um, is Goldstein, you know. Okay. Um, I mean, they're a great group of guys, you know. Um, I know them. I have a history with them. Um, you know, they're kind of, you know, they don't really take 
too much things seriously, I would say, you know, but uh, the community itself, they actually do take seriously. Like, you know, I talk to these guys uh, pretty often, and I can see, you know, they're really trying. Uh, they're actively trying to, you know, get a turf map set up, which, uh, you know, worked out, actually. I think it, it was uploaded today or yesterday. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, they've really been trying to get, you know, working on that. Uh, getting stuff done, um, and then maybe another family I would say is uh, the Leones. You know, um, okay. The Leones are a pretty good family as well. Um, They're we gonna be so happy had, you said that. Yeah, well, you know, we had a member one time uh, who was with them. You know, I'm not gonna say his name, and I would say maybe that deteriorated, uh, deteriorated the relationship between the two of her families a bit. You know, like a couple of months ago. Yeah. Um, but aside from that, um, I would say they're a great group of guys. Um, they also do have a past with these people, so we kind of have that in common, you know. It's like uh, the enemy of your enemy is my friend, you know. Yeah, uh, Kind indeed. of a thing like that, you know. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I see the stuff they're trying to do. They're trying to raise money. Um, you know, I, I think that's really think beautiful, you know. Cancer, right? Yeah. Yep. I think that's really beautiful, you know. So, um uh, if you're going to interview sure. anybody, I think, you know, they should be next on your list, you know. Very good. Very good. I'll check them out. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've had dealings with them. I shoot them. They shoot me. No hard feelings, though. <laughs> They're very cool on uh, Instagram. They're always very chill, very respectful. And then, you know, when we see each other, we, you know, shoot it out. And, uh, yeah. yeah, and that's the way it should be. That's the way I look at it. It's a video game, for God's sake. You know what I mean? We're all a exactly. bunch of free aim players. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the? How can we not, like, how can we not get along? It makes no sense to me. So, uh, yeah. cool. All right. And uh, uh, Queen in the chat wants to know, um, do you guys host any kind of events for the public that are outside of your family um, where sort of general community members are able to come and, you know, engage in events with you guys? You talked about like a okay. casino night, that kind yeah. of thing. Any so of that? we did do uh, things like that in the past a lot, like <clears throat> a lot, because there was not that much to do. So what we would do is we would host events for the community. Uh, or even other families would uh, host events for the community back then. And we would all get together and it'd be like a 30-man session with like people from all like families, you know. Like it was a great time, you know. If you were able to be there, maybe some people watching uh, that were there for some of those moments, you know, that is really fun if you could be yeah. there, um, you know, around that time. But, um, yeah, uh, I would say... I'm not going to say anything. You know, you you go ahead. Fair enough. I would say to anybody... Really, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't really... Like, I like Remo, so we haven't really done anything recently um, yeah. when it comes to... I mean, yeah. like I said earlier, we're definitely going to attend the Goldstein Casino night. But, um, you know, Remo, we should definitely maybe do like a like an event down the road, you know? Yeah, maybe I mean, it, it has been a while after all, you know? So yeah. we might do something like that, you know, to get things popping again. Um because it really used to be fun, you know, just hanging with the community, even if they're your ops, you know, just being able to have, like, one day off and sit in a game with them and chill with them, you know. That yeah. is something that could be really fun, you know. Yeah. Um, and then the next day, you know, just go back to shooting them, you know. Um, but, yeah, no, nah, if you if you miss those events, you're definitely missing out on a big part of the Mafia community. Uh, and yeah. I really hope that a lot of new families as well uh, they don't really, I feel like they don't really, because I think the announcements chat on the disc, I know you're not uh, in the official Discord. I mean, I, I don't know if you got Discord. I could send you an invite to it if no, you'd no, like no. to. No, thank you, um, though. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, either way, a lot of the newer families don't really host events like that. But what gotcha. I would like to see, though, is those newer families, or anybody else for that matter, is to kind of, you know, take that step, you know, and be like, oh, well, we're hosting a car meet, you know, it could be something as simple as that, you know, as long as it gets people on to play with each other, you know, because after all, after all, that's what it's all about, you know, like, getting people on the game and having fun, you know? Yeah. Um, if you don't have fun, what's the point of playing, right? So, no yeah, doubt. Well, I'll tell you what, get bored. I talked I talk to the Merlinos, I can't remember if we did it on the stream or afterwards, um, but we talked about having like just a, a, a session where the fellas get together. There's obviously a tremendous amount of 
crime family, I don't know what you would call it, but like entertainment that's out there in the world today between, you know, podcasts um, like Sammy oh, the Bull I, yeah, and Michael Franzese mean, yeah. and John A. Light and yeah, yeah, all of yeah. that kind of stuff that's going on out there on the internet right now. And of course, all the movies and everything mm-hmm. else. I thought it would yeah. be fun to get some families from the community together, like, you know, two or three representatives from each family kind of thing. We all get together, we go into an apartment and just hang out and bullshit about stuff that goes on within the, uh, you know, sort of the mafia genre, the crime family genre, yeah. if you will. I think it would be fun. Obviously, The Many Saints of Newark just came out. This is something that a lot of people are watching right now. So I kind of like want to get everybody together and just, you know, sit down and, and talk about like your impressions of the movie, that kind of thing. So if that's something you guys would like to do, um, I would definitely like to, yeah. you know, invite you guys to that. I'll talk to the Merlinos. We'll maybe talk to some of these other fellas and uh, get you guys together. And maybe we can do that just as like a boys' night, like just to hang out and, you know, bullshit about, you know, crime. Exactly. I guess we shouldn't say boys' yeah. night. It'd be better if we had some. Well, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, the wording doesn't really matter, you know, but uh, yeah. I mean, same thing, really. Um, but, you know, yeah, we'd definitely be down for that, you know, and it's cool. realistic as well, it's doable. So, yeah. you know, we're definitely in for that. Um, cool. If you're trying to do something like that, you know, so just hit us up, you know, and we'll get back to you about that. I definitely will. I definitely will. Thank you. All right. Well, listen, I uh, I don't want this to go on too much longer. I just wanted to uh, say very sincerely, you guys did a great job. Like I was so impressed with you just Thanks, coming man. out to take photos with you. Yeah. yeah, I've done I've done a bunch of interviews with a bunch of different crews over the years. Uh, you kind of start to get a sense of who's got their stuff together and who doesn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, and you guys really definitely are doing something special here. And I wish you tremendous success with it and great luck. I hope it carries on for many years man. to yeah. come. Yeah, Appreciate our, it. Our biggest goal, um, besides having like a successful crew, which I think we've reached that point, um, having like a core set of members, right, which is like the most important um, thing you could have for a crew. But um, our next goal is maybe to get like blessed one day, you know, because that yeah. that's like a huge honor for any family, especially not much in the Xbox community, because that's kind of all like disorganized over oh, there. Oh yeah, it lost yeah. its meaning over there. Like, yeah, a it's long lost time its ago. meaning, but it still has meaning over here to be blessed, you know, and that's something that you know we're definitely. Uh, Who does the blessing towards for? A blessed family. A family that's blessed, they can bless other families. So if someone blesses us, then we can bless other families. But you wouldn't, like, bless anyone freely, though. You know, it, yeah, it, it's, it's like, not uh, just something yeah. you give away. Yeah, you know? it's yeah. something it's, that, uh... like, you have to think about for a long time. So, of course, you know, it, it's understandable that no one's just going to bless us, you know, out of the blue moon, you know? Like, it's just not going to exactly. be, like, a common it's thing, the highest, you know? It's the highest honor a family could receive, you know? So Yeah. Um... You know, if if our name one day would be amongst those family names, you know, we'd be really happy, you know. But yeah. it's not, you know, it doesn't need to be, you know. Because we recognize as well that these days, it's only a hand, not even not even a handful of families that are blessed. Yeah. Uh, because all the families that were blessed have been gone, you know. I mean, there's really a lot of, you know, and I think uh, you said something about that as well, Dirty, about respectable families from the past you know like um there were a lot of respectable families in the past you know like a lot of dons uh that could sit down do business with each other um role play style but like to shoot as well you know um and those players kind of faded away i'm not gonna lie uh or lost interest or moved on with their lives you know whatever it may be and uh you know, it's sad, but I wish those people would one day return, you know. Um, but it's not realistic. I don't think it will happen. I hope it happens. But, you know, I think if you're going to go back to families like Berzagli, et cetera, you know, they're not going to come back, you know. I mean, yeah. I know Vinny, you know, he's out there sometimes, you know, but that's about it, you know. Um yeah, Any I mean, I'd like to reach back to, like, some of the Traficantes from the old days and stuff. Oh, like, yeah. that's yeah. Like, that's who I remember from, like, you know, the, like, way back days. Yeah, you know that's, what I mean? yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's real old, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are, yeah, those guys, damn. Yeah, they've been gone for a really long time. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. I, yeah. Well, listen, um, I, I definitely want to talk more about that in the future. Uh, like I said, I'd like to get us together. Um, man. Just yeah. to just kind of hang out as, you know, just 
just chill and talk about stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, and I'll be definitely looking at some of those families that you guys recommended. So I'm sure they appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate the recommendations. Um, and I very much appreciate you guys all making time to get on with me today. It's really an honor to have yeah, all of you sure, here man. and to spend time with definitely. you. Definitely. It was definitely yeah. a, a pleasure to be able to, you know, be on like your uh, show. Exactly, Cause I, yeah. I, I used to have my own thing, like the weekend show, and I always wanted to be like interviewed because I always used to interview other people because I thought, yeah, like, I, I did it more for myself, to be honest, because I thought it was always like fascinating, you know, um, and yeah. it gave me like a good excuse, but it was also good for the community, too, you know, but um, it's definitely like it's definitely nice to be on like the other side, you know, and actually be like uh, the one who's uh, answering questions, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I definitely know exactly. that feeling. <laughs> I definitely know that. <laughs> no doubt. Nah, man. Well, listen. But yeah, thank um, you, man. No, it's my pleasure, truly. Appreciate all of you guys very much. Um, for everybody who's in the chat that's still watching us, still have a great group of people watching, thank you very much. The chat has been mostly chill today. I had to, I had to block a few people for doxing and stuff like that. Um, but it was mostly chill today. I appreciate that very much for everybody in the chat. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll be back on October 16th with an episode of In the Cut. I have a motorcycle club. Uh, that I'm going to roll out, club that I've wanted to do for years, and uh, just I'm finally getting around to getting them together and getting them on. Uh, so I'll be doing an In the Cut episode on the 16th of October. And then on the 30th of October, we'll be back again with Crew Life Live, where I will be inter uh, interviewing a street gang. Uh, this will be my first time interviewing a street gang. That's a community that I have tried to dig into uh, and have not been able to find my way through it. Uh, so I'm just going <laughs> to grab some of, them, some of them street gangs, get them on here, and uh, let you guys get a feeling for how they rock out in the mean streets of Los Santos. Those should be fun. That's going to be uh, October 30th. So, again, uh, Kit, thank you very much for being a moderator today. I appreciate you very much. Uh, Queen, thank you for being a channel sponsor. Powerhouse, channel sponsor, thank you very much. I appreciate all you guys. I saw a ton of channel sponsors in the chat tonight. Ulf was in there. IJ Flag. Um, all you guys. Gang Green, thank you very much. I appreciate that bread every month. All right, guys, we're out of here. We are ending the stream. And, uh, again... Thank you again to the Abruzzos. This was a lot of fun. I learned a lot, and uh, you guys did a great job.